Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, former professional tour player and Leopardus certified instructor. And today I want to talk about covering the golf ball. And most of you guys probably heard that term before and it's a really, really important one. And I want to kind of go into this today because it's something that is near and dear to my heart because it really makes a huge impact on your impact. So an impact is really all that we're searching, right? Impact is where the magic happens. So covering the golf ball correctly and also covering it more or less and what that does to your ball flight and your game is going to be important for you to understand to make sure that you are scoring the best possible way every single time you go out on the golf course. So let's jump into it. All right, so covering the golf ball. Covering the golf ball really is referred to as being on top of the golf ball with your chest at impact. So what is not covering you may ask and so not covering is something where you basically kind of back out see how here when i kind of you know early release it i stay on my right foot it's a lot to do with weight and i'm going to go into this here in a second so if i keep my weight on my right foot and i don't have good weight transfer what happens is i bail out of it and my chest is already pointing forward it's not pointing down the ball so this is what not covering looks like this is what bailing out looks like but we're here to cover. So being able to cover your golf ball with your chest has a lot to do with your weight shift or the lack thereof. And that can be very intentional. So if you're hitting a punch shot, for example, and this is a great way to practice covering the ball, is that you keep your weight a little bit on your front foot throughout the entire swing. You know, in a regular golf swing where you're not trying to punch or flight, that's what we also call it, to you know lower that trajectory that it comes off the golf, um, the golf club's face, um, you don't necessarily keep your weight on the front. You actually have, you know, very much 50-50 or 60-40 type weight and then you, you it goes a little bit more into your back foot as it then you know moves to your left foot in the transition in the pivot but here if you're really trying to cover your golf ball more and keep your chest more on top of the ball putting the weight into your front foot will actually help you see how I have my weight here I would say I have like 70% here 30% here and that puts my chest on top of the golf ball already so if I keep my weight here throughout the entire swing it will actually I can still turn back but it's going to stay more stacked. It's not a stack and tilt because I'm not tilting, right? I'm stacking over that left foot and then I'm rotating in my chest. See how my chest is on top of my golf ball here? It's not behind. It's not rotated out. It's really on top, pointing at the ball. Let's hit a shot like this and see what happens. So that ball went really low, much lower than a regular eight iron is what we're hitting, would go because I really covered the ball. So this is great if you're under a tree, hopefully we're never under, under a tree, but um, you know, assumably you are under a tree sometimes because you're here watching this video. So I'm here to help. So essentially covering the golf ball is something that really improves your contact and makes sure you hit the ball before the ground. Um, so again, I'm gonna show you this down the line too, what this looks like. You're gonna be your weight more in your front foot, and then you're going to keep that weight onto your front foot, and then you're going to cover the golf ball more you can stay on top of it and being able to release that and get through to your finish. And if you're somebody that hangs back and that keeps their weight onto the right foot in the golf swing, and I see this a lot with amateurs actually, and really pay attention to your finish. That's really a telltale sign. If in your finish, you are like this and you're kind of falling out of your posture and you're almost walking backwards and you're walking kind of away, that's a telltale sign that you're not getting your weight onto your left foot or your front foot you know, ideally, if you're a lefty, it's your right foot. But make sure you pay attention to your finish. Make sure that you are actually nicely stacked over that left foot in your finish. If you're not, this drill and feeling like you're putting more weight on your left foot and keeping it there throughout your swing will really help you improve your contact. So make sure at, at impact, your chest stays over the ball and at setup, your left foot has more weight in it. Again, 70-30. And ideally, on a regular iron shot, it would be 60-40. So I'm really not saying, oh, totally over-exaggerate and put all this weight into your front foot. I'm saying put 10% more weight onto your front foot, and that will help you get your contact better. If you have a poor iron striking day, put 10% more of the weight on your left foot and keep it there. It'll help you, you know, avoid those chunks, avoid hitting the ground first, and it's a really helpful little tip. Also, if you're under a tree, again, I hope we're not there a lot, but if you are, it's going to actually help you flight that ball down so if you take an eight iron and you're actually you know keeping even more weight 80 percent however more you put on there the lower the ball is going to go and also ball position plays a little bit into that right if you moved your ball back and did the same thing it would then exaggerate it and make that even lower but 
I hope this makes sense in terms of why we should be covering the golf ball, when it makes sense to train that a little bit more, what are the mistakes that I see usually and how to combat them and how that actually translates into your contact being much more ball first, ground second, which is the ideal case for a nice divot. You don't want to hit the ground first and then the ball. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little session on covering the golf ball. Now we all know what that means and why you should be doing it, how it can help and what it does for your golf swing. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys and I'll see you next time.